this week I'm reporting to you from lovely city of Beijing and I actually got to visit about four years ago and I absolutely loved it. So I'm so excited to be back, so excited to show you some of my favorite spots and find some new ones. So let's get started. We're starting off at the Buddha's Yonghe Lama Temple, which was actually my number one favorite spot in the entire city because it's so serene here. Beijing is obviously a huge, huge place, and being able to regain that kind of energy, regain that peace within yourself, is quite rare and quite incredible. This Buddha statue behind me was carved out of a single tree trunk. It's ginormous. Have a look. Alright, so I had lunch at this incredible vegetarian place. I had this beautiful little courtyard. They gave us free tea and free fruits and rice, and it was really, really cool. Literally just popped into a grocery store, and that's one of my favorite things to do in a foreign country. They're just so different. I literally just found, where is it? A yellow watermelon. Look at all the mangoes. Uh, ni hao. I know I said Lama Temple was my favorite place, but this is also my favorite place and this is something I'm gonna keep saying because everywhere is my favorite place in Beijing. This place is called Huhai Bar Street or this general area and it's like right on water. There are loads of restaurants, loads of bars. I Little tip guys, when you order the spicy soup, trust its name. We went for medium and no, just no. This is all the stuff I ended up fishing out of the soup and it's still choking me how spicy it is. So I'm just cooling down with a natural ice lolly, which is really delicious. This is passion fruit, but they have tons of them and they all look really good. You see that on the wall. I wrote that there four years ago when I last visited Beijing and stayed at this hostel. That's so cool. Right now we're in Wangfujing and this is a very modern area of the city. You can enjoy a lot of shopping here, both international brands right over here and then really old school traditional stuff in this area, which I am gonna take you into right now. Celebrity status and try to have a look at this. When you come to Beijing and you want to go shopping, you definitely need to visit San Litun. It's probably one of the most touristy slash expat areas of the entire city, but it is awesome for any shopping needs whatsoever. This right here, I think, and I might be wrong, is the biggest Adidas store in the entire world. Do I say Adidas? Do I say Adidas? Hmm. On a beautiful sunny day in Beijing, there's honestly no better place to visit than Beihai Park, which is where we are right now. It's a really big park in the center of Beijing. You can get here using Line 6, and the views are honestly just so beautiful and calming. In a city of 20 million like Beijing, to find a place like Beihai Park where you can just come and completely relax and unwind is quite incredible, and the entry fee is about one British pound, so it's just basically free. And one thing you have to try when you're in China is cucumber crisps, which sounds really odd, and it also tastes odd, but they really grew on me last time, so I'm pretty excited stuck into them. 